Tom Frezza here with the Naval History and Heritage Command, and today we are going to be cooking with history. Uh, more specifically, the 1945 U.S. Navy cookbook recipe for French toast. Now, French toast has been around since the 4th or 5th century, and it was a way for, for bakers and also cooks to reuse bread from the day before. So it may not be as fresh as people want, so it was a way to reuse what they already had, supplies that they already had. And the Navy, of course, is one for reusing a lot of different supplies, especially when it comes to cooking. And the 1945 edition of the U.S. Navy cookbook uses that French toast recipe to reuse bread from the day before. You see, ships at that time, and even today, they bake fresh bread every day. And as the days go on, the bread starts to become less and less and less fresh. So they came up with different recipes, especially from history, they know what already works, to reuse that bread. So the, uh, the French toast recipe I, I've typed up right here, it's for 100 portions. Now a portion is two slices. Don't worry, we, we've reduced down the recipe and we'll get into that in just a second. But the ingredients that you'll need are eggs, beaten lightly. Uh, the original recipe calls for 36 pints. We're going to be using four eggs. Uh, milk, liquid, not dry. Uh, three fourths of a gallon. Today we're going to be using a cup and a half of, uh, of milk. Salt, the original calls for two tablespoons. We'll be using three fourths a teaspoon. Sugar, uh, the original calls for a cup and a fourth, so one and a fourth cups of sugar. Today we'll be using a fourth of a cup of sugar. And bread, day old, the recipe calls for 100 slices. We'll be using uh, 12? We'll see. So, let's get into it. The, uh, the way this is going to work is, the instructions say, uh, mix together eggs, milk, salt, and sugar until sugar is dissolved. Dip slices of bread into egg mixture. Let stand for two to three minutes. Coat each slice thoroughly. Fry on hot greased griddle or in hot deep fat at 360 degrees Fahrenheit for two to three minutes or until brown. Note, serve with maple syrup, jam, jelly, confectioner's sugar, or granulated sugar. It looks like it turned out pretty well. Uh, and of course, the note in it says it should be served with maple syrup, jam, jelly, confectioner's sugar, or granulated sugar. I have my uh, cinnamon sugar right there. So let's see how this looks. Definitely a good hearty breakfast for uh, any sailor in the 1940s. This is a pretty good recipe. If you're looking to uh, learn more, please visit the website of the Naval History and Heritage Command, history.navy.mil. We hope you enjoyed cooking with history today, and we'll see you at our next lesson.